Hey guys, so I'm back with another vlog. It's been a little bit. Uh, a lot has changed, a lot's been going on. Lots of drama, lots of sadness, lots of excitement, lots of life in general. <laughs> I'm sure you guys understand. This uh, comic that I'm going to be vlogging over is about a new relationship that I am in. I uh, don't want to be too gushy on this, but it's pretty great. So the guy I'm seeing has been a friend of mine for six years or so now. And uh, we've had these weird crushes on each other on and off for the past six years. And we finally just, I guess, confessed those feelings recently. So now we're dating and it's cute and stuff. But um, he had me meet his parents not too long ago. And that's something that I have not done in a really, really long time. I've not met any significant other's parents for probably five years now. And it's not that I don't like meeting parents, it's just that it stresses me out and I don't know, I just, I just want to be the best person I can be around them because I want them to like me and obviously I like their, you know, their son, but it's just, it's, I don't know, I put too much pressure on myself, I think. I'm always worried about what they're going to think of me or if I'm not good enough for their kid because I mean, that's how my parents are. My parents are very judgy when it comes to significant others. <laughs> um, and I've seen how my parents have judged my brother's past girlfriends, so I kind of use that as a, like a reference point whenever I go in to meet a significant other's parents. Uh, so this comic is just basically about me being a moron and thinking that she's gonna not like me, which is not the case. Apparently she really likes me, which is really sweet. I'm super happy about that. I don't know, just meeting a significant other's parents is always super stressful for me. Because even though I think that I'm a nice person and a good person and, you know, I'm, I'm a giant dork, but other than that, I think I'm all around A-OK. -okay. The parents aren't gonna know me at all like the son does. So it's just that initial trying to be impressive, I guess, or just try to balance the being yourself versus putting your best self forward. And I'm way too awkward in situations to do both of those things. So I just end up being awkward and quiet and smiling a lot at a random, <laughs> random stuff. Uh, not that the stuff that I'm smiling at isn't worth smiling at. It's just my defense mechanism, I guess, whenever I'm in awkward moments where I just laugh at something or if I smile at something or I just... Yeah, no, so the first time I actually met his mom and his stepdad, we went out to dinner before we were going on this trip to Indiana to visit some of our friends. And uh, I was super nervous about the whole entire time because I know that him and his mom are super close. And I just, I wanted to make a good impression. And we got there and we're sitting down, she's so sweet, like stepdad's super nice. And I'm just awkward as all heck sitting at the table. And we're talking about alcohol. And she brought up like vodka and orange juice stuff. And the last time I had vodka and orange juice, aka a screwdriver, was at a, I think it was a Mayweather and Pacquiao fight years ago. My, my, my friend had this watch party at his house and they played flip cup and I don't drink beer at all. So I was playing flip cup with screwdrivers, <laughs> which are very acidic and just not something you want to keep drinking shots of, essentially, which is pretty much what Flip Cup is if you haven't played it or if you don't know anything about it or if you're underage or just, yeah, just, it's, it's, it's just a little, you can Google it. <laughs> but yeah, so I am great at Flip Cup, but my stomach is not great at taking that much screwdrivers and I got sick and it was miserable and I've never had screwdrivers since. And for some reason, awkward Tabby who's meeting boyfriends parents for the first time uh, decided that that would be an appropriate story to tell whenever screwdrivers got brought up. So I told that story and then halfway through the story I got real awkward because I was like this is not a good story to tell. His mom is going to think I'm some alcoholic party chick and I just dialed it back and I, I could hear myself just like trailing off the story as fast as possible and then getting really awkward and whenever I'm uncomfortable or whenever I like I realize that I said something stupid or I overthink on something. My face gets all like squinched up, like in the eyes, like I'll purse my eyebrows together. And that's exactly what I did. I was just like, oh, sheesh, idiot. Like, duh. <laughs> and for the rest of the night, I was just, I was overthinking on that. But by the end of the night, it was really, it was fine. Like she gave me a hug. She gave me three hugs, actually. 
said it was really nice to meet me finally because I guess he had talked about me in the past and well, it was it was a good time and I've seen her twice now after that like they've invited me to family dinners and stuff so that's really nice and I enjoy hanging out with them and stuff it's just the initial meeting folks is just so stressful I put way too much pressure on myself <laughs> and what's funny is he handled meeting my parents so well. I don't know if he had any internal drama going on or stress or anything like that whenever he's meeting him. So my dad is a real big car guy and my brother's a car guy. My mom likes cars too. She's not as into it as my dad and my brother are. I'm okay with cars, but like my dad has all these classic fantastic cars in the garage and he works on them all the time and everything. And my boyfriend works at an auto shop, so he's around cars all the time and he can actually hold a conversation about it. So whenever he met my parents for the first time, he just hung out in the garage like 80% of the time talking with my dad and our family friend. And my mom was like, oh, you're just throwing him to the wolves, aren't you? And I went out there and my dad like sharing candy with him and offering him Mountain Dew and like just being all buddy buddy, which is very odd for my dad to do. And my grandma was there and she was like, oh, he's so sweet. He's so nice. He's a keeper. Like he just, everything went so well He whenever he met my parents. Yeah, no, he, he hit it out of the park. <laughs> meeting and interacting with my folks and my family and they really like him and he says that his family really likes me which I don't know how or why but I'll take it because I like that <laughs> it's just I don't know the beginnings of a new relationship and getting comfortable with each other's family is always something that's just so dang awkward for me I don't know why it's just awkward and exciting and gosh dang it guys I'm just really excited to see where this goes <laughs> I, I realized that I rambled on this quite a bit, and hopefully the more vlogs that I do, the uh, better this I will get. I think I mentioned that in a past vlog, but <laughs> let's try again, shall we? As usual, thanks for watching, thanks for talking to me, putting up with this lame voice, and hearing my silly stories. I appreciate you guys, and let's have an awesome 2018, okay? Okay. Later.